Armed with his newly acquired expertise, Martin and Billy head off to their first audition at top voice agency, ICM. Voiceover right now is probably one of the hottest areas of show business. Everybody wants to do voice, um, especially animation. Saturday morning cartoons or primetime animation like The Simpsons or Futurama or King of the Hill um, to uh, feature films, Disney feature films like Atlantis coming out this summer or Shrek. Um, and then we handle CD-ROM games or for a theme park, if there's a roar in a theme park ride. Any aspect of the animation world uh, for voiceover, we would handle them. <coughs> Whether it's all in, it's a carbon. It stresses all in. Greater protection for a harder working engine. Greater protection for hard work. I'm trying to cry. This, is trying. this is my card. Who are you represented by? Uh, uh, ICM. Jim ICM, Dennis. represented by ICM. What percentage do they take? Ten percent? I can do you eight. Hi, Gary Owens. Gary, very nice to meet you. OG Banks. OG, very nice to meet you. And Billy West. Billy, very nice to meet you. Martin Drew Phillips. I'm an agent from London. Hi. Oh, oh hello, Maurice Lamar. We represent about 150, I'd say, somewhere between 100 and 150 um, scale voiceover actors. Yeah, I played Bugs Bunny, Doc. How are we going to find a, a, a rubber pants our size? Grab hold of my buttocks and I'll fly you to Rome. If you don't shut up, you fool, I will kill you! Mind the gap! And then there's the celebrity end of voiceover where, you know, like Mel Gibson in Chicken Run um, or Mike Myers in Track, and that would be more of a you know, an offer-only situation where they'll say, hey, you know, we want to get um, uh, Eddie Murphy involved in our movie, and then we'll just work out a deal for that. I'll do Tense Tony in England. It's a very Sorry? big cartoon in England. Tense it's the Tony. British Simpsons. Hey, oh, a nice bicky and a cup of tea. Oh, no, I've dropped my bicky in my tea! Also doing, um, have you heard of the Naked Chef, Jamie Oliver? Naked Chef? Pucker. The Naked Chef? Yeah, I've got a little bit of cheddar in my helmet. He's doing the animated na Naked Chef. Pucker. And what we really want to do is get a feature by the end of the week, say something similar to Shrek, Doctor Doolittle 2, maybe Toy mm -hmm. Story by 3. By the end of the week. Yeah. By the end of the week. Think, what would you think Billy's chances are? As a side How would he go about doing that? You become a celebrity because the trend is that they're taking celebrities and using them as voice actors. And Sorry to say, but a lot of them flatline because they don't know how to use a mic. In terms of voice actors and their reaction to it, there's a lot of resentment. You know, I could do this and I could do ten voices, whereas if you hire the celebrity, they can do just one voice. Originally, why a lot of stars decided to do cartoons, there wasn't any big money in it, really. It's so they could be a hero in their own household to their kids. It's like, it doesn't mean anything to a kid that his dad's Arnold Schwarzenegger. But right. if Arnold Schwarzenegger is a voice in a popular cartoon, then he's cool to all his friends. There's many different levels of income in animation. Um, if you're talking about Saturday morning cartoons, there's not a lot of money in that. It's maybe about $600 you know, for a four-hour recording session um, to do three characters. Billy, when Billy opened his mouth, when I first saw him, yeah, I yeah. knew that he'd, he'd have a totally yeah. he's, he's got a flavor, a, a, a mellifluousness. You've got a manager that believes in you, that's the greatest thing in the world. No, he's, he's part of my friends. Yeah, he's the dog's bollocks. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I mean that. The real money is in the feature film world. Then you're getting, you know, a guaranteed number of sessions. Let's say it's, you know, uh, $5,000 uh, per session for a seven session guarantee. You get your residuals from the home video, you do the toys, you do the TV series that spawns. So if you get one really good character, you can make a lot of money. I mean, you yeah. can be lazy, Even you can be stupid, right. Billy, mm -hmm. and he's not clever, he's not bright. He needs someone like me behind him. No, but I've him. got a gift. But he's got the gift. He's, yeah. he's, a bit, yeah. he's an idiot. He's one of these gifted idiots. But he's not a savant. Like a savant? Exactly. Yeah. Like a what? Jimmy savant. savant. Jimmy Savant. Yeah, he's a like, bit like Jimmy Savant. Yeah. And with that, the life of a, a voice actor can go on. You know, it's not like the commercial world or on camera where you get burnt out. You know, you could do two on-camera commercials a year. You know, and or too visible. You know, exactly. So you don't you don't get overexposed animation. Now Billy was just with a voice coach, weren't you, Billy? What she told you to do? If I want to talk like a girl, just spoke to my head. And then if I want to talk in my nose, she was talking 
pointing at my nose. And then talking in my stomach. Pointing at the stomach. You know what it is? I don't even what are you worry. Point, Here's Billy? Hit, no, I don't even worry about the voice. I think it starts up in the head. If you don't have yeah. the music and the the rhythm and the musicality of the character, then you can't get it here. It's like got to be formulated here, and the voice just falls into line. I point to various areas of my body. That's exactly what I do. Right? I yeah. actually, yeah, no, oh. I I can see where this would work actually, because yeah, yeah. for a certain for nasality, like I do this character yeah. Toucan Sam yeah. for Fruit yeah. Loops, and I oh, and I literally do. I touch one nostril and close it off slightly so that it's more. Follow your nose, it always does, knows, Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. Really so I, yeah, I really do. Voice of artists are a breed unto themselves. They are um, very quirky individuals. Most of them were probably, uh, you know, not very well adjusted as kids. But when you get them behind that microphone, they're amazing.